Welcome to the Biro Inn Temple in Oahu, Hawaii. Welcome back, everybody. It's Wineless Woman again, without a car, still taking public transportation in Oahu. Close to two hours later, we finally made it at the bus stop for the Valley of the Temples, AKA the home place of the Biodo In Temple, gorgeous Japanese temple with these beautiful green lush mountains set right in front of it. From Waikiki to the Biodo In Temple is about an hour and a half, which also includes a 17 minute walk to the temple grounds. We're walking right now to the actual temple and park, but just soaking in the views, there's roosters, it's so green and lush, it's a little bit cloudy, but it adds some bit of mystery while not inhibiting the view of the mountains at all. So we're stoked. Let's go see what we can see here in Oahu. Biuro In Temple is actually located in the Valley of the Temple's Memorial Park, which is a cemetery with actually a lot of really notable buildings, including the Family Service Center, which provides burial arrangements. Also, there are many religious buildings, including the Trostdale Chapel on top of Chapel Hill. There are also many private estates, including the Ying Memorial, which is a mausoleum for the Ying family. On your way, you will pass by the Gardens of the Holy Cross, which actually has a Virgin Mary statue that was shipped from Italy in 1970. All right, everybody, so we're getting close. The views are insane, lots of beauty, but also I get feeling that there's a lot of sentimental importance to people, whether it's for religious reasons or a memorial. There's some, looks like some funeral sites. Anyway, we're approaching the temple. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It feels like I'm back in Japan or entering some country with a completely different culture set in this beautiful lush green monterey. It's raining a little bit, but not bad at all, luckily. That's where we're gonna go. And we're gonna check it out and see what's up. So we've officially entered the Byodo In Temple. It is $5 per person, which probably isn't bad considering the scenery is so great. There's hopefully lots to see. We're crossing this little bridge right now, and then we're going to enter the Shinto world. So a cool feature about this garden is they have a massive bell or gong, which you can call the bon shou, and you can actually hit it with a thing, that little wooden log, to swing and hit it, it's called the shumoku, which is a really cool experience. To say you can make a nice cool sound, and it's also fun to interact with the garden. So definitely give it a try, it's totally free as well. An interesting fact about the Byoro In Temple, it is actually a replica of the original Byoro In built in Uji, which is in Kyoto of Japan. Another cool feature of the Byoro In Temple is the Meditation House, which is actually secluded a little bit away from the temple and provides a place for private thoughts and inner peace. One of the truly remarkable things about the Byoro In Temple is of course its natural setting. Being that it's located in Hawaii, it is so green and lush in this part of the state and is also located at the foot of the Ko'olau Mountains, giving it a truly unique feel that takes you out of this world. Another cool thing is you can actually walk on the temple itself, going a little bit far inside to see some of the more spiritual holy places to pray and do your thing. Besides just walking on the outskirts, which is equally as gorgeous. Gyoro In is absolutely beautiful, but it is also a religious structure, a building built with purpose. So you can find a great Buddha statue inside, which is actually nine feet tall. So my era, everybody, this is not a Shinto shrine, this is a Buddhist shrine. The way you can also tell is because there's no gate to walk into, no Tori gates. Also the architecture and the inside when you see the Buddha statue, also a really big clue. But really pretty to see a religious site with such detail and culture and natural surroundings in Oahu. Yoro In was established June 7, 1968 to celebrate 100 year anniversary of the first Japanese person immigrating to Hawaii. I've never seen so many koi in one place in my entire life. Crazy. No Japanese temple or garden is complete without koi fish. And here we can see many at the Shinji Ike Koi Fish Garden. Koi fish in Japan represent all things good, including peace, prosperity, and longevity. You can actually see lots of other wildlife in this temple and garden, including this really cute cat, also including this duck here, but more uniquely we can see some turtles and a black swan. Where in your life have you ever seen a black swan? And oops, didn't expect him to fall over like that, but still really cute. 
Another pro tip about coming to the Byodoin Temple is because of the lush green scenery. It's a little bit buggy, especially if it's been raining recently. Bless you. And my legs are getting a little bit nibbled on. Definitely will be scratching my legs a little bit after visiting here. So bring bug spray if it's on your mind or you might just be uh, having to deal with a little bit of bugs. No big deal. So that is my video and guide of the Byodoin Temple, everybody. I hope you were able to visit because it is a truly unique and beautiful structure to visit in Hawaii. Make sure to check out the rest of my Hawaii videos if you want to see more. Peace.